Nah, I bet. So, yeah, we heard with Terrence Carter today, man. Terrence actually signed, as he represented right now. He not signed, but he committed to play football for Louisiana. But before we go ahead and get into all that, we're going to go ahead and start. Where did your love for sports come from? Uh, Honestly, I don't really know. Like, it just started. I was young. I was, like, five years old when I started playing tackle. And just ever since then, just kept playing the game. For sure, for sure. I know a lot of us, when we're younger, we get thrown in sports. But you actually a dual athlete. How? Where did your love for basketball come from? So that was like a middle school thing. So it was seventh grade year, and everybody was just like, just play basketball. You tall. I mean, it shouldn't be that hard. <laughs> like, I just started playing seventh grade year, and then it was just like, damn, might as well keep playing, you know? Like, just. Yeah, for sure. And it's crazy, though, because the first time I actually seen your page, it was from a basketball highlight. Because I follow Daniel. So it's like, uh, Tuck. Oh, I know. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I play, I, I went to William Penn with his brother. So, like, I seen that. I'm like, dang, he dunking. Like, he catching bodies. Then I look, I'm like, oh, he committed for football. I'm like, shit. <laughs> it's crazy. Has it ever been like, was it ever a time in your life where you went basketball over football? Uh, actually, yeah, it had, it was, I would have to say, ninth grade year, it was just like, i leave football workouts and go to a basketball tournament, it was just, and then it was one, it was my 10th grade year, it came up and I told my mom, I was like, I don't think I want to play football no more, and it was just like, the recruiting process, like, man, I ain't getting recruited for it, so like, what's the point of still playing? For sure, for sure. I know you said you went through that. So when, like, since you had that time where you were about to choose basketball, when was it, like, a switch for you to click on with football? Like, all right, it's catching on. So she was just like, my mom, she just kept saying, like, keep working, your time will come. And it was just like, junior year happened. And I decided to switch to receiver instead of playing quarterback. And it was like, as soon as I switched, it was like, just started getting a lot of notice at the position. And, like, college coach just was running in and out the building. For sure. Explain trying to get an offer when you live in Texas. <laughs> it, it's hard. Like <laughs> it's hard because it's, it's so many athletes out here. And I it, it's hard for real. So like you really gotta work and like try to get your name out there. Go to camps. Like just work. It's crazy though because I just moved to Texas, so I, I see now like I'm in Houston, so I see like yeah everything bigger. Like yeah, it's so it's much like, bigger. Man, it's too many dogs out here. Like you gotta actually work. For sure. Who was actually your first offer? Uh, Lafayette. For sure. Raising Cajun. It was my first offer. Uh, they was gonna offer my junior year, but Coach uh, Napier he didn't want to offer me just yet. He just wanted to see like me in person, work out and all that. And then he st- we started clicking more, and then he had finally decided to give me that offer. Like I say, about three months ago. For sure. All the hard work that you put in, how was it when you finally got that offer? Man, it was brought tears of joy, man. It was crazy. Cause like, like, people dream of this. So it's like, man, I just got just got an offer for real. For sure, for sure. It's a lot of, uh, now Now NCAA players can get paid for their likeness. How you feel now that you're going into the NCAA? I mean, at first I wasn't really worried about it. My biggest goal was really just getting to the league. But then I heard about it, and I was like, man, it's like, people are really going to, like, work even harder just, like, they can get paid just for playing college ball. So, like, that's, that's just more motivation than other kids that want to play ball for real. For sure, for sure. What was your – what was the game you could remember where you was just like, all right, I could do this for real? Like, like you might have just killed that day. I – I would have to say Shoemaker against Shoemaker. It was, it was me, it was me and the quarterback and our little running back and one of our slots. Like we was just like, man, we gotta take over. And then that game, really, that game was on my mind all the time because that's when I was talking to Lafayette also. And it's like, hey man, we're gonna be watching this game because their corner over there, uh, he's a three star. And he just released his top seven. He he liked like he nice. He liked that. But it was like it was just a different mindset in my head when we was playing. So it was like, all right, it's either win this or just be miserable, get made fun of like basically like a rivalry game type. And it was just like, man, like 
I got to show up and show out. So it's really just a give me the ball. I'll make sure we got this. For like, sure. It's crazy because I know from St. Louis, there's a couple schools that's like, they just suck. Like, they just terrible. It seemed like no school really suck in Texas. Like, everybody got a player that's decent. Yeah, yeah man. It's some dogs out for real. You can go to probably the trash school in Texas. They probably, they sorry as people probably got offers. <laughs> that's kind of crazy. <laughs> That's kind of crazy, though. Was, was, was it ever a time where you was like, all right, maybe I'll play basketball and football in college? Uh, Actually, yeah. So it was like I started getting recruited in basketball, and then I was like, I could probably go to Lafayette for both. Because, like, my high school basketball coach, he was like, I know their coach, actually, and I can actually talk to them for you. Like, yeah, that'd be awesome. And, like, I talked to the football coaches about it and also – they're like, man, you might as well come hoop out here too. Dude, it's crazy. How how has AAU basketball helped you? Like, man, it's it's way better than high school ball. It's like <laughs> AAU, it's like you on the map, like so like we go to live period tournaments where it's like you playing in front of straight coaches, so it's even you got to play, you just got to go home, play like that. Man, and you actually are one of the best team, one of the best teams in the area. Yeah, they're dry Yeah, so it's like, how is it? How is it knowing? Like, it's cra- it's just crazy to me. Like having like being a recruited in two sports. Like everybody dream about. It. I don't think people really understand the work that go into that. Like the work, the sacrifices you have to make. So it's like, like I know for me, if my teammates look at me and they talk stuff sometimes, they be like, "Man, give me the ball." I'll be like, "Nigga, I got more. I I, I got more yeah, offers than you in both." Be like, yeah, that's why I'm like, man. So it's like, yeah. Playing on that team though, it's, it's fun though. It's like explain the support done. system. You said explain the support system. Yeah, like the support system, like like you have to have at that level. Man, you just gotta be real supportive. I ain't gonna lie. Cause like when I first started off on that team, I was like, I I ain't really get minutes like that. But it's like I ain't really let that just get to my head. I just supported my team and we worked. And then like. My name was called. It was just like, all right, just get out there and ball, play your game. But it's like, you got to be cheering on, though. You can't just be sitting there because colleges watch that also. Mm-hmm. What's the what's the most exciting thing you're looking forward to stepping on campus? Man, <laughs> why, it's the girls for sure. <laughs> yeah, I ain't going to even hold it. It's, it's the girls for sure. But nah, uh... I'd have to say, really, just getting out there and playing ball for real. <laughs> Who did you model your game after? Because I know for, like, basketball, it's kind of easier to, like, kind of point your game after one player. Football is kind of different because there's so many people on the field at one time. So, football, dude, I was always an RG3 fan. Mm-hmm. Like, like, he didn't – the main reason I wear 10 is the reason I played quarterback while I was young. Going into the – Going into my fuck. You straight, you straight. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, it was like, uh, so really, it was RG3. He um he inspired me a lot. I went to one of his camps. Was, and we talked about, and he was just like, if you want to play in the league, like, you really got to work. And I was just like, like, it got to me. And I was like, man, I really want to get to the league. Like, I'm trying to get where he at. And then he was just like, man, all right, I ain't getting recruited at quarterback. It's not like. It's time to switch. So then I made that switch, and people always told me, like, you really built like Megatron. I, was just like, <laughs> I never really thought of that. And, like, people say I play like him, like, just a faster version. Like, like people be like, how you so big and you move quick? <laughs> the guy gives. Like, I don't know. For <laughs> how did that kind of help you, though, like, being able, to act, being able to actually sit down with your idol? How did that make you when you left? Like, yeah, I need to work for sure. Man, it was it was crazy because like people dream of that, so it's like man, like I'm sitting down with like my idol right now, like we talking like, and he giving me like lectures and all that, and I'm just like man, like this stuff is like it's real. So like, you a quarterback guy? Yeah. So, so we gonna say we gonna we gonna I'm gonna ask you a question: top five quarterbacks of all time. That's that's a hard list. <laughs> all right, no order though. Right now. Joe Montana, Brady, okay, Aaron Rodgers, <laughs> Drew Brees, 
man, that's a hard list. That's all I got right now. That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> that hey, three of those guys tough. still play. Well, two of them, Drew Brees just retired. So two yeah. of them. That's crazy. It's like out of the five, two of them still playing. Yeah. Hey, I don't know. They game just different. <laughs> like, they both too old to be in the league, but they still out here making plays. For sure. If it wasn't sports, what 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 kind of would be your niche? What What's something they don't know? You can sing or something? <laughs> nah, man. Nah, I wouldn't even say I can sing. Like, it'd have to be graphic design. Okay. Like, because I, I used to make shirts and stuff like hoodies with my mom. So. Okay, so so what you saying? The swag yeah, on 10? Yeah. <laughs> but, like, I don't be dressing for real. Like, that's the crazy thing. Like, I got who, got, who got most swag? You or Tuck? I'd say me. Tuck too, too, too crazy. <laughs> that man crazy. What's something people got misunderstood about athletes? If we being honest, it would have to be cheating on people. Because like, people, they think it's like, all right, you think an athlete, they gonna cheat on you regardless. Like, nah, it don't even work like that for real. I'm like, man, we be busy for real. Like, it's hard to communicate at times. Man, you already said I ain't gonna lie to girls. These are the cheat on people. Man, what they get to? Man, I'm guessing you hear that all the time. All the time. It's like I get a random, I get, I'm getting likes on a post. A girl hit me with the dang, you blowing your phone up like, dang, I just posted like, <laughs> ain't never that serious. How I feel like I know I asked you the high feel when you got your first offer, but it's like leading up to that point. Was it ever a time you wanted to quit? Now nah, when I got that first offer, it's just like, all right, bro, it's time to work even harder. Like, now I know I can do it. Like, it's even, yeah, it's just go time. That's just the bigger motivation, like. All right, I got that one offer. Let's let's chase more. For sure, let's state state champ. What you what you doing? I ain't gonna lie, that's that's a big goal. Like I just know, like I feel like we can we can get there, but it's like it's gonna be a tough route because six eight football ain't no joke, especially where we at. It, it's hard out here. Cause like last year we lost first round to Duncanville. The year before that, we lost first round to Rockwall. So it's like we Ooh. playing Power 5 guys like every year in the playoffs. So like, I play I with like a dude year, in college that went to Duncanville. What are you talking about, Ken? Uh, uh, Omar? Oh, he played basketball. He like 6'9". Oh, Tatted up. But yeah, it's, it's hard out here because it's like you playing straight dogs. It's, it's crazy. Like when we... I know, like my guy Stefan Bug, he already commit. He he a dog for real. He go to Desoto now. Man, Oregon. I remember Oregon used to run it. I remember Oregon was running college football. They gonna run it twenty twenty two for sure. Think so. Oregon always been on for speed. Yeah. But it's like I feel like this year we gonna go ten and zero for sure. Ain't nobody in our way right now. And we playoffs, we just gotta bring it. Is it is it is it kind is it a game right now that you already circle for when you touch that college campus where it's like I wanna play them? Texas. Texas? Because they play Texas this year. Their very first game is Texas and next year they'll play them again. It's like that game gonna get my name out for real. For sure. So the goal right now, NFL. NFL. Man, we ain't nothing. We ain't gonna do nothing but support you, bro. Just wanna let you know that I appreciate you letting me interview you for sure. Anytime. Yeah, y'all, y'all see him ripping right now, man. Y'all see him ripping, man. Louisiana all day. <laughs> yep. Gotta stay. All right. with it. All right, my boy. All right. <laughs>